Yo, welcome back to a brand new Craftopia guide. In today's guide, I'm going to be showing you guys an automatic tree farm. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below of any help that you may need in the game. But let's do this. Now, today we will be covering an automatic tree farm, and I use this for my rubber trees. However, tomorrow's guide will actually be an automatic wood and straw farm if you're just after farming a whole bunch of wood. But this same method can be used for wood, but I tend to do this more for rubber, but you also get wood, and use tomorrow's guide for just masses amounts of wood and straw. So we're going to start off on an empty plane, like so, and we're going to take away one of the squares on on the floor so we have this usual square which we use for quite a lot of our automations so i'm going to equip some walls and i'm going to place them inside just to block off this little pit for our monos to die next i'm going to bring out a breeder and i'm going to place it over the hole i'm going to place it over like so so the monos go into the pit standard stuff next i'm going to actually equip a floor and place it one above like so now i know i can place two trees on this one square and they will both be healed so we now have the monos on the breeder they are dying they are level 40 monos they are going into the pot and dying we have this platform above now we can put as many trees on this platform as we like just be prepared for it to be a little bit tricky to actually gather the materials if you put too many up here so i'm going to aim for the middle of the floor and i'm going to get one on there and i'm get, going to get the next one as close as i possibly can to this other one which seems to be about here now i'm going to head into my inventory and i'm going to use a nutritional supplement on both these trees which will give us two giant rubber trees. Next, I'm going to equip a floor and I'm going to place it on the square behind. So I now know this is where my robot is going to go. So I'm going to put some floors just around the outside to make sure the layout is nice and good. Now we are actually going to use these virtual walls. Now if you've never used virtual walls, you can craft them in the furniture workbench. And what they do is they basically mean that the robots are unable to pass through these barriers. So we're going to put one behind like so. And the other one on this side which gives us this kind of triangle leading to the two trees. Next, I'm going to equip the rotating saw. And if you see, it's a little bit tricky to get it as close to the tree as possible. So we're going to make sure that we rotate it so the back of the saw is facing you, as that is the biggest part and is actually blocking you from getting closer to the tree. Now, we're going to get it as close as we can. If the robot walks through, it just means it's not far enough in. As you see, it went straight through. That's fine. So we're going to take him up. We're going to pick him up. We're going to come up here and we're just going to readjust our virtual walls slightly. We're going to make sure they're completely covering. And if you wish, if you really want to just keep it how it is, just place another one along the front. And this will mean he is fully trapped in that square. But you don't have to put the one in front of the trees. It's usually okay. So next, I'm going to equip my rotating saw. Rotate it around. I'm going to get it as close as possible. Right there. And hopefully he stays in there this time. And there we go. He is fully trapped in there and he will just continuously spin and chop the trees. Now, if you see, he is going to start farming out this rubber. So all we now need to do is put this for collection. Now, you can collect this in many different ways, but I'm going to show you how I personally do it. I put three walls along the back and another three floors in front and then three walls across there as well. So you kind of get this enclosed box. I do this mainly to keep it tidy and because it just makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to box the whole thing in. You don't need to do this, but I think we may as well at this point. Now I'm going to actually equip some fans. Now this is the first time I've used fans on a build like this, but I absolutely love the fans. So I'm going to put three on this back wall, which will just mean any that gets stuck behind the trees will be pushed out into this wall here. So all that's left to do is to put down a chest right at the end, as usual, and place an absorber on the chest. 
And again, you can collect it however you wish. This is just how I personally like to do it. Now, those monos will be keeping those trees alive. The sawbot is constantly stuck inside there. You can get it trapped with other things such as ramps and uh, quarter walls. But I just like using up these virtual walls. We got given them, so why not use them? So they will continue to cut. Those monos down here are doing its job. All we've got left to do now is to tidy up the eggs from the monos, which is very very simple we're going to chuck down a market place an absorber on the market and that will all be absorbed when they die don't know why that one went a little bit crazy if you need to block anything in you know keep everything going in the right directions but the reason i put three fans back here is because sometimes the very slight gap between the rotating saws and the tree can actually cause a buildup of rubber so i put down these fans it just means that whichever direction it's in it will be forced to the front and there we go this will just all be continuously collected up and that is an automatic tree farm and rubber farm so if i head inside this chest you can see we're already starting to gather some logs and some rubber i don't do this for my main source of actual logs i actually do that with bushes but i will have the bush guide coming tomorrow this is just a guide on how to get yourself some free logs and to do some rubber at the same time now you can use this exact same method for multiple along here so you can have a whole building dedicated to farming specific logs or specific enchants for example if we head into our workbench here we will see that if we scroll down to the trees there's actually a bunch of different trees so just go and check in the actual biome what you can gain from these trees and if you want it then put some down farm it now the great thing is is each of these trees you still gain the enchants from it so if you wish to get some of the snow enchants such as freezing you can do that using the snow trees or you can get the palm tree enchants by putting down palm trees i just personally like to do it with rubber as that just keeps that rubber coming in without me having to go to the poisonous island now there are a bunch of different ways to do the tree farms this is just my personal favorite way to do it just because you can simply put down one of these simple builds and add any tree to this collection that you like or have two different types of trees with your sawbot however you want to do it this is just a nice tidy way to do it and you can actually shrink this down to be not much bigger than one square this is actually pretty big there's a lot of wasted space here there is definitely a way you could make this tidier if i remove these floors around the trees i could probably get it down to a one square build so you imagine you do that for multiple different trees and you just have these little columns everywhere it's going to be very tidy and it's going to provide you with a lot of great resources now i really hope you enjoyed this guide if you did then please do drop a like and subscribe comment down below with any help that you may need in the game in general general or with this specific method here remember to put down your trees put down a nutritional supplement to make them grow full size and then just trap in a saw bot using those virtual walls or quarter walls or ramps but most importantly enjoy the rest of your day stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace